No idea if the keto diet works for women over 40? It absolutely does. It's been creating amazing results for me and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I've been doing to lose 13 pounds and 13 inches in nine weeks. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so and also hit the little bell button so that you can be notified every time I release a new video on this type of topic and others that I know are gonna drive you crazy with intrigue and interest. Hey everybody, I'm Kelly Alexa, fitness fanatic, serial entrepreneur, confidence coach, and most recently, a keto convert. Yes, keto convert. And this is coming from somebody who was the single most skeptical person about the keto diet on the planet. But with the help of my functional medicine doctor, she gave me the nudge and I've gone full on keto. And as I've mentioned before, I've lost now 13 pounds and 13 inches in just nine weeks with the keto approach combined with extended fasting. And now I'm in the process of becoming a certified keto coach so I can help other women aged 40 plus conquer the weight loss plateaus that plague so many of us. Okay, so let's dive right in. Does the keto diet work for women over 40? Obviously, I'm here to tell you that it does. I said before earlier in the video, I am a little over nine and a half weeks in and having been this, what I call the single most skeptical person on the planet about the keto diet, I am now 13 pounds down and 13 inches down. I know that sounds a little like cliche, like I just made that up, 13 pounds, 13 inches. It really just so happens that, you know, as of this morning, I weighed myself and I had lost another pound. So just since being back from vacation, I lost another two pounds. So it wasn't always that balanced. It wasn't like I lost one pound, one inch, two pounds, two inches. It wasn't always that way. But 13 pounds, 13 inches in nine and a half weeks, it has been an extraordinarily positive experience. But here's the deal. Why are we talking about, you know, does, does keto work for women after 40? When we're talking about women age 40 plus, and, and of course, this could be relevant to women age 35 or, or more. What, what we're really talking about are women who are experiencing struggles with weight loss or, or having a weight loss plateau situation, not being able to lose weight, or maybe you're doing all the things that you've always done before. You're working out, you're dieting, you're exercising, but maybe the scale's moving in the opposite direction. Um, you're not able to lose weight and maybe you're even gaining weight. It's, it's the hormone time of your life. Um, this, is, this could be at age 40 plus, it could be at age 45 plus, it could be in your 50s, it could be in your 60s. Typically what we're starting to see is that hormone imbalances are starting to present at much younger ages. Um, I have become what I would call uh, somewhat of an expert in hormones um, and all things hormone related over the past five to seven years. Um, as I have studied and worked with now three functional medicine doctors, my current doctor being the most amazing doctor of all, Dr. Ruthie Harper. She's the one who actually nudged me to go on the keto diet. Um, so, you know, I've learned a lot and I can tell you that in my experience and by, in leading by example, and I'll explain more in this video, after struggling and struggling and struggling for years and not being able to lose weight uh, and feeling like I was just a broken body, the keto diet combined with extended fasting is probably one of the single best solutions for women after 40. And, and I wouldn't say, what I, would, what I would do is put an asterisk there and say women after 40 or parentheses who are dealing with hormones insulin issues cortisol issues metabolic damage I mean in other words like if you're in that phase of life where you're age 35 to 40 plus and your hormones and and your your metabolism is damaged and, and things aren't working the way you want you're exercising you're eating right you're working out and your body's kind of going in the opposite direction this is the best answer for you. This is something you should be investigating. So that said, I'm gonna dive in and tell you about my experience. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna share with you my before, before, during, and after. You know, what was my life like before keto? 
why did I start keto? Um, how, how has it been for me and after? So before keto, um, seriously, you guys, let me just summarize this by saying I've always been a fitness fanatic. I've always been into working out and I, I should always say I've always been into dieting and that's been a problem. Um, one of the good things that I did before going keto, I started, I started casually going keto in May. Um, but one of the good things that I did, um, was go on a reverse diet for about a year. Now for those, a lot of you listening, I will say this, and I will do a separate video on my whole situation with doing a reverse diet. Um, why I did it, I, I actually did a podcast on this. I'll link up to that so you can listen to that if you'd like. Um, many of you might be listening going, why on earth would I want to do a reverse diet? Many of you listening might not understand what it is. Essentially, you um, scale your working out back and you eat more. You, you train your body to slowly eat more. And it's really intended for healing your body. The truth is, as somebody who had been loving fitness and working out and dieting for a long, long time. And as somebody who, like many of you who are watching this video, if you love fitness and you have big goals and you want to lose weight and your body starts to work against you, the problem can become that you start to diet so excessively and work out so excessively that you just don't even realize that you're never stopping that you're always dieting, you're always working out, and that's a really bad situation because I really had not become aware that I was dieting year round and work, I mean, there's, not, there's nothing wrong with having an active lifestyle and, and working out year round, there's nothing wrong with that, but I was over training, over dieting, and never, I was always in a caloric deficit for years and years and years. That's a problem. So one of the best things I did was to reverse diet for pretty much a full year. And, and it was a trainer that I hired who told me to do that. And that was one of the best decisions I made. Um, but again, as far as a picture of my life before going keto, I was constantly dieting, constantly just um, wondering what was wrong with my body. Um, I was working out all the time, six days a week, always in a caloric deficit, um, doing intermittent fasting, reading the latest fitness magazine, reading books, trying to figure out what was wrong with me, always adding more cardio, always hiring a new trainer, um, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, adding, adding extra workouts, adding, you know, additional 24 hour fasts, just trying the latest and greatest and, and a lot of binging, a lot of, um, you know, shame eating private, you know, running to the grocery store and buying don't, I mean, just crazy emotional eating, binge eating, shame, guilt, you know, frustration, embarrassment. And, and my body just, here's the deal, no matter how overwhelmingly hard I worked, I, I could never force my body into submission and I kept trying. So that is how I would summarize my life up until I decided to do the reverse diet. I did the reverse diet. It was the hardest thing I ever did was to say, okay, I'm going to step back. I'm going to slowly but surely eat more calories. I'm going to slowly but surely scale back my working out. I'm going to accept that I'm in a phase of healing. I'm going to accept that I'm going to probably gain some weight. I'm going to wear bigger clothes for a while and just heal this broken body. It was the best thing I ever did. It was hard, but that's what took me up to the point when my current functional medicine doctor finally said, okay, we're ready to let you die. So you heard me say it. It was actually my doctor that recommended going keto. Now she never actually used the words keto. She just, you know, when I emailed her and I said, okay, what macros do you want me to follow? What's my caloric window? Um, she gave me my macros and I looked at them and I'm like, wait, 50 grams of carbs a day, only 60 grams of protein. I was just like, wait, what? And what, what happened is we just ended up going back and forth for probably about a period of two or three weeks. This was in May of this year. So I'm recording this video in, in, on August 12th. Um, and 
we just went back and forth because I just didn't understand. I thought, and, and again, I, I've talked about this before, you guys, I was the most skeptical person about keto on the planet. And I'd always been told that women or, or just men, anybody, if, if you wanted to reach certain goals, you were supposed to have five meals a day, 30 grams of protein at each meal. I thought 120 to 150 grams of protein. So I was, I was like, why only 60 grams of protein? So what followed is a bunch of back and forth between my doctor and I. She had me read a bunch of books, uh, listen to a bunch of podcasts, and uh, read a bunch of articles on extended fasting, um, on insulin resistance, on keto, on you know fat, on all these different things, and I learned why um, through reading the longevity diet. Why excessive protein is not needed, nor is it good for women over forty. It can actually help you um, store fat or or accumulate fat. Um, I learned why extended fasting is good for insulin resistance, which I had insulin resistance. I started to learn why my former way of eating had really quite a lot more carb carb and, and sugar in it than I realized. A um, lot, a lot more things that caused an insulin response than I realized. I was eating very healthy, very organic, but just a lot of things that were, you know, raising my blood sugar. And I just, you know, thought I was the healthiest eating person on the planet. And realistically, you know, a lot of the stuff I was eating is healthy, but for the conditions that I have and that a lot of women with hormonal imbalance and insulin issues and cortisol issues have, the things that I were eating were not doing me any favors. So she and I went back and forth and, and I'm also going to link below. The truth is, even though I went back and forth with my doctor a lot, it was me watching this video by Lisa on YouTube about her going carnivore and then keto She's, she's this gal I followed on YouTube, this gal I followed on Instagram, and I had seen her lose weight slowly over, you know, the summer and, and just, I'd watched her transform and I was like, damn, she looks good. And then I watched her YouTube videos. I sat down and I watched like six of her YouTube videos um, in one day and hearing her story about how she felt before and, and what her experience was later, it just made me say, that's what I'm doing. Like, that's, that's it. Um, and I'm hoping that my video can be that for so many of you. Like, this keto experience has been so transformative for me that I've, I've just become not only an evangelist, <laughs> very quickly but i decided to become i mentioned this in the beginning of the video i've decided to become a certified keto coach because very quickly i found myself you know wanting to tell other women like hey this is the answer this is the answer for women who are age 35 to 40 plus who have these hormone issues who are wondering like what's the answer how can i lose weight like what's the missing link like this is the missing link but i wanted to be able to help them and i'm like okay, if there's a certification that I can get, and then I found out from my friend, Kate Hamaria, but anyway, I am getting certified um, so that I can help women in a more uh, official manner, but it really has been life-changing and it really is the most amazing thing ever. But you've heard about my before situation. I know so many of you watching this video are in the same boat. I hope that by this point in the video, you have hope I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you're midway through this video right now and you're watching and you're finally going, oh my God, I have hope. Just like when I was watching Lisa's video, it was me watching Lisa's video that I finally said, I, I had this feeling in my gut. I'm like, this is it, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I just had this feeling. I had this feeling it was gonna work and I decided to do it. Um, if that's how you're feeling already and you, you feel like, what I'm throwing down and, and, and you've, you've seen, you've heard what my results are, like hit me up, leave a comment, tell me what your questions are, tell me what, you know, where you're at, how long have you been struggling, how much weight do you have to lose, you know, what's your age, what are your questions, let me know because 
This is just the first video. I'm planning on, on sharing a lot of videos. You know, I'll share what I eat in a day, how I'm working out. I certainly haven't hit my goal weight yet, but I'm, I'm gonna get there. Um, I'm gonna, I've got a little bit more information I wanna share in this video before we wrap up, um, but I wanna help you. Um, this I know can help so many women and this has, this has changed my life. This has been the most transformative experience in the last nine weeks that I've ever, ever, ever had. And I wanna help so many more women feel this way. It is the best, best feeling ever. It's changed my whole life. Okay, so once I got over my skepticism, once I got over myself, um, and you know what? I think one of the other things too is, I think part of my hesitation to do keto was I was worried what other people would think. So if, if you guys are, are out there and, and that's you too, I encourage you to just get over that because if any of us are ever worried about doing anything and we think, oh, I don't want to do that. What, what will other people think of me? That's one of the dumbest reasons on the planet to not do something um, because it, it just don't let that stop you. Don't let that stop you. So I decided to go for it. Um, I kind of started doing what I call sloppy keto or lazy keto in, in May and um, then I officially, Steve and I went on a staycation up in Austin in um, the end of May. We came back and I remember Steve said to me in the car on the way back, he said, because I'd already started seeing some results, even though we were on vacation and I let myself have a few things. Like, here's the thing, I'd done paleo before and you guys know with paleo, there's very strict rules about what's paleo and what's not paleo. And I didn't know if, if with keto, like you're not allowed to have certain foods or not. I didn't know. And, and when I started keto and when I started what I'm calling lazy keto, I was just following macros that my doctor gave me. So I didn't know if I was officially keto or officially not keto. Um, and so, you know, I was, when we were on that staycation, I was letting myself have some gluten-free muffins, you know, some things like that. So I told myself, I'm going hardcore keto when I get back. And furthermore, I had also um, learned about exogenous ketones from some people I had started stalking on Instagram. I'd actually learned about exogenous ketones from my last functional medicine doctor three or four years ago from a company called Prove It. And then I, as I was started stalking some of these people on Instagram that were um, keto, I saw that they were drinking these prove it exogenous ketones. So I ordered a whole bunch of them. In fact, um, once I tried them, I realized like, oh my God, like they've added so many more flavors and now I'm a distributor and the company's amazing and yada, yada, yada. Ping me if you wanna order some, they're amazing. That's gonna be a whole separate video because that certainly is um, a significant part of my strategy. Um, the energy that you get from exogenous ketones, the appetite suppression, the focus and the benefits for your brain are just ridiculous. Um, but that's a sidebar. So went ahead, started keto officially, you know, by my book, June 1st. That's when I started weighing myself, measuring myself, um, really counting my, my calories and my macros. Um, and Honestly, I've never looked back. I have not, I, I haven't cheated since I started. And the truth is, you guys, so I, I do do intermittent fasting. Do you need to do intermittent fasting with keto? Absolutely not. It's just what the phase of life that I'm in right now. Um, what I learned from my doctor is, and what's funny is I've talked about, uh, you know, she definitely said that exogenous ketones, I'm sorry. She definitely said that extended fasting is very beneficial. The truth is I am just now adding in the extended fasting. Um, I was experiencing, <clears throat> excuse me, um, migraines. Uh, migraines had, had come back into my life. Long story short, I, I used to have migraines. I used to have migraine problems in years past. So migraines out of the blue came back into my life. Um, and they're all gone again. But for like the first month I was getting migraines again. And so the, one of the worst things that you wanna do with migraines is do any kind of extended fasting. So I chose to wait. I've been doing intermittent fasting, but I will be incorporating one 24 hour fast per week and one 60 hour fast per month starting next week. So 
Right now I'm doing intermittent fasting where I pretty much get up in the morning, I have my keto coffee, um, I use a, a keto cream product from Prove It uh, to make my keto coffee, and then I pretty much fast until um, my lunch. I have lunch, I have dinner. I don't snack um, like I used to. Uh, this will be a separate follow-up video that I do, you guys. One of the most amazing, the, the follow-up video that I'm gonna do is how much this keto diet has transformed me. Outside of losing weight, I can't believe how different I am as far as my appetite, as far as cravings, as far as my tendency to binge, as far as how much I used to let food control me, how far, how, as how much I used to let thoughts about food consume me. It is amazing how different my relationship with food is. Um, I just, food doesn't have power over me like it used to. It's amazing. And, and if I would have thought that I could say that Wow. Um, so my days are pretty simple. Um, it's easy for me to be in a caloric deficit right now. I'm, I'm at 1600 calories, 50 grams of carbs, 60 to 70 grams of protein and the rest fat. Um, in my other video, when I'm going to shoot another video, I will talk about some of my favorite foods, some of my favorite meals, some of my favorite snacks, some of my favorite products. I really don't eat a lot of fake like keto products. You know, I don't go out and, and buy a lot of, you know, products with a lot of fake ingredients. I eat a lot of real foods. Um, and another video I will do, there's, there's gonna be a lot of good videos coming up that'll go over all the questions that you guys have. You know, when you eat keto, are you eating nothing but cheeseburgers and hot dogs? No! Can you get creative and eat salads and seafood and chicken and, and all kinds of stuff? Yeah. Can you still include fun meals like going out? And one of my favorite things to do is have a Whataburger double cheeseburger with onions and grilled uh, jalapenos. Yes. If you ate that every day, would you lose weight? No. And would you have a stomach ache all the time? Yeah. Um, I also did not experience all of the weird side effects that people talk about. I was, I've never been constipated. Um, I didn't have keto breath or keto flu or any of that weird stuff. I just didn't. Um, so it has been a very positive experience. I will say this um, as I wrap up kind of just my, my summary of present. I, I said I would go over before, during, and after. Um, I think that if you are somebody watching this video and you are thinking about going keto and you are somebody who's maybe not been eating healthy, you're eating a lot of fast food, drinking a lot of alcohol, eating a lot of carbs. Like when I tell you I didn't have all of those side effects, I, th I think that's because I was already eating relatively healthy and thus the, trans the transition was not as extreme. I think if somebody's eating a whole lot of junk food, they're not eating healthy, um, uh, you know, that transition could maybe cause some of those, those issues. Um, but there's ways then I, I think if I was coaching somebody like that, I would have them go in a, in a transition phase that would maybe be a three to six month transition phase to get them into keto. I wouldn't have somebody go from cr tremendously unhealthy to keto overnight. That's just, that's just me. Um, so it has been, to be honest with you guys, I'm just gonna say it, um, it has been easier than I thought. The first few days were a little, um, I don't wanna say a little challenging, it was just an adjustment. And with every, I noticed results very quickly. Um, it wasn't like I dropped 10 pounds overnight. It was very gradual, very, consistent. I'm going to link to the blog posts and the podcast that I've done um, where I've talked about, you know, I, I did a podcast two weeks in, I did a podcast four weeks in, I did a podcast six weeks in, I did a blog post eight weeks in where I showed, you know, my weight every single day, my measurements all the way in. Um, so I, I'll share, you know, all that stuff and I'm going to keep sharing. I'm not at my goal weight. I've lost, you know, like I said, 13 pounds, 13 inches. I still want to lose another 15 pounds. I'm not at my goal weight. So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep sharing, um, you know, my experience here. And I 
I want to know what questions you have. I'm here to lead by example, but I've just got to tell you, here's what I think. This is the best thing that, could, that I could have ever dreamed of. And if I could tell any of you women who are age 40 plus, or heck, if you're age 35 plus, you've got hormone issues, if you're even for one second questioning whether or not this could work for you, please, first of all, ask me any questions you, you have in the comments. If, you're, if you wanna ask me private questions, email me, kelly at kellyalexa.com. I'm here for you. This is the best thing I've ever experienced. I have experienced more transformation in my body in the past nine and a half weeks than I have in the past nine years. That is no lie. I feel better about my body now, more confident about the future than I ever have in the past nine years. I am so grateful. I feel better. I look better. I don't have bloating. I'm sleeping better. My skin is better. And then all the other side effects that I alluded to, or not side effects, the, um, the benefits the, the way that my, my, my life has changed. And I'm going to talk about that in the other video, how I, my relationship with food has changed, how I don't snack anymore. My appetite has changed. My, my relationship with food has changed. Like you can't put a price tag on that. My ability to go in my closet and wear things I haven't been wearing in five years. You can't put a price tag on that. Like that is invaluable. This has been the best thing that has ever happened, and this is what I want for all you ladies. So if you're wondering, does keto work for women over 40? I have to say, heck yes it does. And this is your nudge to get started right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a taste of what's to come here on this channel. I will be posting a lot more videos about my keto experience, past, present, and future. A lot more to come. Also make sure, like I said earlier in this video, that you head on over to kellyolexa.com. That's linked down below. Make sure you subscribe. I will link up uh, some of these other videos, or excuse me, podcasts that I've also already made live on the Kelly O Show um, about my, you know, I almost said podcast experience, about my keto experience. Uh, two weeks in, four weeks in, eight weeks in, I go into a lot more detail there. Also coming up, I will have Dr. Ruthie Harper on my podcast, and hopefully I'll have her here on the YouTube channel as well. We, we will be interviewing her. And furthermore, I'm going to have everybody that has been on my podcast, The Kelly O Show, um, who was originally interviewed as, you know, on the topic of keto, they have already committed to coming back on the show to be interviewed. Um, and we, I think it's gonna be so cool because originally I interviewed them going, this is interesting, let's talk about keto. And now I'm gonna interview them, you know, because so many of them have put out more cookbooks and, and um, you know, published more books. But now I'm gonna be interviewing them from a different perspective because keto has changed my life. So that's gonna be cool. We're gonna have folks like Vivica Menendez back on the show. Um, Kate Hamario, who is the, um, the, the lady that has the uh, keto coaching certification that I'm taking that, the, the keto certification from. Uh, Dr. Anna Quebec is gonna be back on the show. Tom King from Icon Foods is gonna be back on the show. Um, Maria Emmerich is gonna be back on the show. Leanne Vogel is gonna be back on the show. Um, who else is gonna be back on the show? Um, Andy Thewson is gonna be back on the show. I've got, gosh, who else? There's gonna be just a ton of people back on the show. It's gonna be amazing. So anyway, make sure you're subscribed to kellyalexa.com. Make sure you're subscribed here. Make sure you hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I have a new video coming out. And of course, as always, whatever questions you have about this video, anything I can answer in the next one, make sure you leave it in the comments below. I will see you guys next time.